you were very deliberate to launch this brand yourself. How did that influence what you perhaps have done differently um, than maybe some of the more traditional players within the beauty industry in a ways that, the ways that others can think about carving out their own niche or really, you know, maximizing opportunity? Well, I think specifically around this market and my market, sort of who I am personally, um, because the industry has not supported um, us and there haven't been eons of choices and um, sort of all of these things existing, we have become our own best experts. Most of us are being our own chemists in our bathroom. We've done all the research. We're either making our own products or we're mixing products or we're mixing brands or we've searched far and wide. And so as a result, um, and also my own personal experience was that a lot of professionals, quote unquote, actually didn't know how to meet my hair what, where it was. They knew how to put heat on my hair. They knew how to do all the old traditional things that um, were leaning me into a standard of beauty that actually didn't make space for me. And so um, I felt like it's not that it was important that I didn't partner with somebody. It was important that I stayed true to my vision. And in the 10 years of journey that I had with so many disappointments, which I really like to talk about, because every disappointment, I would take the hit, I would take the this really sucks. And then I would get back up and ask myself, what was it? Was there any truth in the no? Was there a reason there was a no? And was there a way for me to articulate my vision more clearly? Did you so ever that doubt the idea or yourself? No. No. You, ju you just said sort of there's a piece of knowledge in this feedback that yeah. I need to take in to and, move this and forward. And sometimes there wasn't a piece of knowledge in the feedback. But I will also say to um, respond to what you said, part of what you said at the earlier part of your question, strangely enough, in all industries, and this is a part of what we're in right now in terms of this racial reckoning, again, um, it's always a surprise that we buy that we are beautiful, that we are talented, that we are important. It's always a surprise. It's a surprise in Hollywood when our movies are a hit, when our shows are a hit, and it's ridiculous. Um, it's not new, it's not new information. Somehow there are not metrics. The metrics seem to disappear in support of that, but it's not new, we're not new. Um, it's the same thing when I won my Golden Globe, part of what I was saying in my speech and the only reason I bring that up is not to do this, but <laughs> part of what I was saying in my speech is it had been 35 years or so since a black woman had been nominated in that category, but it has not been, it had not been 35 years since a black woman was the lead in her life. That is happening all over the place. Black women and our hair has needed products since the beginning of time <laughs> until the end of time, just like everybody else.